Hi, babies. Talking to people, socializing, definitely these pits. You need to be taken. Julie Temple is my number one girl. Hello? She's empty. I wanted to do like a cute little, little makeup get ready with me just because like, I love doing my makeup and I have to be at work at four and it's, oh, where's my phone? <laughs> Should I turn this light on? I think, yeah. I don't have a ring light, so DIY Walmart lamp. Okay, so I'm going to do my makeup, do a get little, like get little, get ready, little get ready with me video. But also, I kind of wanted, so I posted um, a poll on my Instagram and a bunch of you guys swiped up and asked me tons of questions about myself. So I thought I would be a good person and answer them um and i'm lying right now no i did not post a poll i just wanted to say that because all the influencers are like yeah so i posted a poll and, um okay 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 but can i tell you about my weekend though okay so today is monday i have work today um but i was work i was working on saturday and sunday eight hour shifts eight hour shifts all the power to everybody who works 40 hours a week five days a week every single day um i don't know how you guys did i was literally dying actually like i was struggling severely in like the third hour of my shift i was like Okay guys, can I go home early? Like, I can't do this anymore. I seriously cannot do this. I don't know how people survive off of it. And um, it was a real reality check that I cannot be working four hours a week. I have to figure something else out. <laughs> I literally have to figure something else out. Anyways, so I was working Saturday from 9 a.m. to 5.30. And then one of my coworkers invited me to their Lunar New Year celebration. So I was like, okay, Kyla, like get social, get social. I was like, okay, I'll go. But I, was, I didn't ask, I was like, are any other coworkers? Like, am I gonna know anyone there? Didn't know if anyone else was gonna be there that I knew. So I was like, oh, okay. Eight hour shift, socializing with the customers at the grocery store. Then another like two or three hours socializing with people I don't know. <laughs> Social battery was deteriorating um, at a rapid pace. And like, it was good, it was fun. We made wontons, we made bow, wontons, bow. Talking to people, socializing. So from 9 a.m. to 10 o'clock, I was on go mode, go mode. Go mode, go mode. So that was fun. Like I had a good time. I was like, oh my god, I'm a little bit of an introvert, so I don't know how this is gonna go. And also, don't judge the makeup routine. I literally don't know what I'm doing. So yeah. <laughs> uh, so that was Saturday, and then Sunday, wake up. I am exhausted. Social battery is depleted, babe. Depleted, non-existent. So yeah, I was pretty tired waking up, going into my day on Sunday. So then I work Sunday from 11 to 7. So like a cute seven hours and 30 minutes of work, not quite eight hours. And then one of my friends from elementary school, love you Sydney, she had like a little get together cause she turned 21, 21, 21, 21. So then I was like, girl, I, I have to like, it's almost, I'm almost, <laughs> hold on. I don't know if this helps, but I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to. <laughs> I think I put too much, hang on. <laughs> ah! So Sydney worked all day, then I had to go to, I wanted to go to Sydney's little like, 21st birthday celebration. So it's like, oh my God, I'm literally going to be so social again after I was social the day before at work and outside of work. And then I was social again on Sunday. Oh my God. And my social battery is dead. But then I had another friend that we went to elementary school with. So I was like, okay, if I get socially awkward, I could just hang out with her. And it was fine. Like socialize with people, her friend or her other friends. And then um, my friend, like a little trio, a little trio we got going on. And it was so fun. I had a good time. Yay. Guys, what if I look so atrocious after this? My makeup looks terrible. I have to take the whole thing off. Anywho, um, so I just talked about my weekend for 10 minutes. Let's actually get into the whole point of the video. The first question that I asked myself was, what is my favorite drink? <laughs> and I was like, a cute little cocktail. But girl, no, I'm 20. I'm not 21 yet, so I can't have a favorite cocktail. It's literally illegal. So um, this is probably a really bad way to put blush on. But I literally have no other choice. Like, hello? She's empty. My favorite drink of all time is a Shirley Temple. Give me Sprite, give me Grenadine, give me all of that, and I will be a happy camper, seriously. And when I turn 21, it'll be a dirty Shirley with two shots of vodka. A Shirley Temple will always be superior to me, and that's the end of that. Like, that's the end of the story, end of the novel, end of the podcast, end of the video. Shirley Temple is my number one girl. I don't know if this counts as, like, any rational fear or irrational fear. I'm thinking it's rational, is being smelly, being stinky. Oh, one of my coworkers asked me, she was like, what deodorant do you use? Do you use? And I was instantly, instantly, I instantly went into a panic because I was like, <gasps> She's gonna recommend a deodorant to me because the deodorant I have does not work and I'm so stinky and smelly. She literally is repulsed by my scent. But she wasn't, she was just asking because she was looking for a deodorant. Then I realized I was like, wow, am I really like 
that self-conscious about my scent and it is because childhood trauma of when I was in sixth grade and one of my friends or like my little friend group in elementary school and they literally put me on blast and were like it smells like armpits and they're like it's not me not me not me oh it's Kyla and I was embarrassed but also like it was a little bit self-inflicted because I was like self-conscious I mean like I could smell myself but I was like, I can only smell myself because it's me. No one else can. And that's stupid. Everyone can smell you. If you can smell yourself, other people can smell you too. And I don't know why I couldn't grasp that concept, but I did it. And I regret it. Seriously, I really do. I seriously regret that. And it is always embarrassing. And I keep like baby wipes with me in my car at all times, just in case, because I'm an avid sweater. Just in case we get a little funky, we can fix it real quick. Real quick. I never really had someone complain about my breath, um, but definitely these pits. <laughs> need to be tamed seriously my favorite color is green and you know i don't know why it's green it's because there was a band called mindless behavior a boy band when i was like uh i want to say like in elementary school i was like obsessed with them and my favorite band member princeton he was so cute and he still is to this day his favorite color was green and i was like oh my god weird my favorite color is green and now we are more compatible because our favorite colors are green and ever since then my favorite color has been green end of story when I go to the nail shop, and I haven't been in a long time because I am broke, literally broke, insufficient funds, um, I like to get a cute little gel set. But sometimes, like, I had a phase where I was doing long nails, and that was really fun for me. Really fun, but really expensive. Literally one set costs $70, and that's not including my toes. So, like, if I do want to treat myself, I'll get gel on my fingers, and then just regular on my for the pedicure and i think i like doing darker colors on my nails just because when i was younger my mom was like light colors only you're not grown you're a child uh <laughs> i can never do my bottom lashes they always look atrocious but we're just going to work we're not trying to impress anybody literally the people that go shopping at my job are like mothers fathers grandmothers grandfathers and that's that's the demographic okay hobby my hobby my favorite hobby i haven't done in a while but i need to go is i like to thrift ah! i love to thrift i love to thrift just because I feel like when I piece an outfit together in my brain, I pull it from my brain and I'm like, this is cute, this is cute, and this would look good together. I don't know, it's just like, yes, I was challenged, and but I did find something so stylish, so chic, so cute, and I'm basically a self-acclaimed fashionista. I also like going with friends or by myself. I will say when I do go with friends, though, um, I run the risk of them finding an item that's better than what I found and something that I want. So then I'm like jealous, and I'm like, how dare you find something better than me at the thrift store? Why are you finding something better at the thrift store? Like, you're lucky I even agree to going with you i am joking <laughs> i am joking but imagine if i was serious but i'm dead serious about um being a little bit salty if someone finds something better than me i think i need to shave my brows because this is getting a little bit hard really hard um and i don't think i like the way this looks so <laughs> oh okay so my zodiac sign is taurus and i truly only know like minuscule facts about like the zodiac thing um and i solely know about tauruses i don't know about any other sign so i don't really have much information actually about Tauruses other than like we're stubborn because like that's where our sign is a bull I'm like, okay I guess you could say I'm stubborn but I just have a way of life I have a logical way of life end of sentence so something on my bucket list for this year is to go either snowboarding I've never really done like snow activities um and I really want to it's like girl I've been robbed uh, uh, uh. okay so I said I'm a Taurus what was that I said I'm a Taurus and my sign is a Taurus. Duh, girl. Okay. But I, my birthday is May 15th and I am 20 now. So I'll be 21. Sometimes I like to pretend like my body is my hair because I have no hair. Like my hair is this long. Um, so yeah, I'll be 20. I'll be 21 in four months. I'll be 21 in four months, you guys. So if you want to buy me a cocktail in four months, holla, let me know because I'm down. I'm down if you're down. Okay. 21 in four months. I don't know what I want to do for my 21st. Like, I really don't know. Because my mom was like, I think she said she went, or my aunt said she went to Las Vegas for her 21st. And I was like, oh, I don't know if I want to spend that much money. And I don't know if I want to be in the heat. I don't know how I'm feeling about Vegas. But also, I'm like, should I just do a dinner? But I also want to go out. Like, I want to use my ID. When the bouncers card me, I want to be like, and this is real. And you can see in it, too. It's real. Uh, so it's like, Vegas, cute little dinner, go to the club, bar hop. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, but when I figure it out, I'll let you know. I will definitely let you know. Also, like, I have a split friend dynamic. Some of my friends like to go out and dance and party. And some of my friends are like, we can just, like, chill and have dinner. You know? So, I might do both. Who says I can't do both? I'm going to be 21 for a whole year, so, like, I have time. You know? Yeah. 
Oh, I don't know if this is irrational fear now that I think thought about it. I really can't stomach, no pun intended, throw up like myself or a random man on the street, random girly pop who's had a crazy night. I'm not gonna hold your hair. I'm sorry. I'm not the friend that's gonna hold your hair when you're yakking in the bathroom. I'm not that girl. I'm not that girl. Just because everything about regurgitating what's in your insides is disgusting. Like no one's ever like, oh my god, I love to throw up. But like people do it with ease sometimes and I'm like, oh they're like, oh my god, I'm so drunk, I need to throw up. And they just throw up and I'm like, oh no. Yeah, no, we're not doing that. Oh my god, perfect example. So when my sister had my niece, she had a C-section. And so like obviously your insides are outside for a C-section. So like your body needs time to like heal and then so you can't really digest food. So straight out of surgery, her nurse literally gave her like ice. Her body could not handle that. So she was coming out of the delivery room with my niece in hand. Everyone was like, oh my god, the baby, the baby. And then my sister was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw up. She did not have to say another word. She did not have to take another breath. I removed myself from the room and I waited outside. <laughs> and everyone was like, oh my god, the baby, the baby. You guys, my sister was literally like, like, uh, what is that called? Like gagging? Like dry, not dry heaving, like the motion. She said with her words that she was gonna throw up. Red flag number one. Then the movements of about to throw up, I'm like, heard you her you don't have to say another word you don't have to breathe another breath you don't have to blink another blink i'm out of here so yeah i don't know what it's called it's some kind of phobia there's a phobia for everything but um yeah if you're around me and you're about to throw up do me a favor and remove yourself from the premises i'll force myself not to throw up um and sometimes i can't control it like when i'm on my period and the pain is just like astronomical but most times like when i went to cabo and i just like overdid it <laughs> just uh no detail i just overdid it and i, I was literally slobbering and i was like this isn't good. This isn't good. And my friends were trying to talk to me and I was like, words are not even, I don't know what words are. I can't speak right now. I need to, I need to focus. Um, and I was good. I didn't throw up. I was successful in my mission. Perfume. Beanie check. This is with the beanie. Actually, yeah. I love this beanie. I did get it from Urban for like $7. So bargain. What a bargain. I just am lazy and I don't want to do my hair even though my hair doesn't look that bad. I'm still going to slap a beanie on it. Um, oh my god, my queen. Do you want to see my queen? Ignore the pile of clues. Her name is Lunar. Lunar Eclipse. Her name's Luna. And she's so sweet. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you did, oh, I hope this video isn't too long. If it is, who cares? You know, like, who cares? It's your choice. If you want to watch it, you can. If you don't, you're like, why don't you want to break it up? Hey, break it up. Break it up. I will see you in the next vid. Hopefully. No, I'm not even going to say anything. Like, comment, subscribe. Notification bell. Like, comment, subscribe. Notification bell. Like, comment, subscribe. Yeah, that's it. Okay, bye.